Peter Neuber Designer, Writer, Architect, Curator, Director, Artist. Finnish no, Director. <laughs> yeah, but maybe in the no. future. Uh, this is why the lecture is for. Okay. 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 Peter Neuber, Designer, Writer, uh, Artist, Designer, uh, whatever. <laughs> and very important. He is a primero, he is an act, accionista. What does it mean? This is a, a guy who is doing all the things together on one point. And like the title of the lecture is now, he is doing it now. But uh, Peter is also, and this is even for me more important, a very generous and great friend. He is a defender of art, and, or a fighter for art, and with his very powerful voice, he is defending, he's defending the artists, of course. Uh, if I would have to describe his attitude, I would quote um, a text he wrote on a t-shirt long ago, uh, namely, um, don't compromise you will, or you will pay the price. Uh, it's a perfect description of his character. Actually, the other day someone asked me, how can you describe the character of Peter Löber? And I said, character. Uh, Peter was almost 70 years ago, born in, almost 70 years ago, 70 years ago in Tyrol. In Tyrol. And like all these guys from Tyrol, like his friend Peter Neuva or uh, Raymond Abraham, they, they, they really want to come, wanted to come, or they did come to Vienna in order to prove that the Viennese are the most stupid, stubborn, and worst guys you can imagine. This is what Peter did for 50 years, uh, 25 years as a kind of act actionista, and 25 years as the director of the museum, the Mac Museum. Um, he did in the, before he was the director, he was famous, very famous, because he always put every year a poster on the wall of the hotspots of Vienna. Uh, and the, the posters were, the, were announcing the motto of the next year. And Peter Neuber was always on the poster and called No Ever. And uh, the poster was Design is Thinking or Buried Vision or um, Go Ahead, My Friends. Uh, so I, I, I did know him before I met him. And his famous, very famous input to the cultural scene in Vienna was uh, the magazine, I would call it a political cultural magazine, Umris. How can I translate it, Umris? I would, tell, I would say the best translation is how to kill mediocrity. And um, this was a pain in the ass of all bureaucrats of Vienna. And every time you mentioned the name Peter Neuber, and the, the bureaucrats got very, very pain. Because his pamphlets, his statements, his action were really the hot spot of Vienna trying to, like I said, to uh, take a stand for art. And he is an architect as well. Um, the, the, the design for the recent uh, proposals like the Mack Tower, Cat Tower, um, or the future of the Mac was, um, was um, um, laid down first in is very famous and 
I don't know whether you know it, a very famous land art architectural uh, project in Burgenland, the so-called pit. And this is where he proved that the Viennese tradition in being concerned with subterranean uh, articulated shapes are more important than, uh, than upstairs, like in other countries. Peter Neuber, I'm very glad to have you here. Uh, I have to say, and I have to quote what I always say when I introduce him, no ever, no ever glad. So he is not slick. No ever rest like the mountain. Peter Neuber forever. Give a welcome to Peter Neuber. So, first of all, I have to speak in English, which uh, we'll try what we can do. Uh, it's, thank you, Wolf, for your beautiful introduction. Uh, it's, now it's even more hard to say anything, to make a lecture here, uh, and for your performance. Uh, I, I'm not so sure if everything you said, that I, I still can try. I'm not 70, as you mentioned, so I still can try to fulfill the ideas you have on me. Almost. So, but the, the, I mean, the thing which is uh, in always and also in the present, which is, is the, the main interest, if I may say so, is, is the site. The site, and especially the site of art or the site of artist, and also the time. I think uh, I always tried to, to do things and uh, I could not, could not understand in a different way uh, to react in the moment and to be, uh, to have really the, the, when I called, have this title, so I was not sure what, uh, what to select, which title to select, but I, I think this is what, uh, what always was driving me. This is this kind of curiosity. The curiosity, what is going on? It doesn't mean that you have any idea what's going on. I think this is it's always very complicated. And also, uh, just a question, uh, where is art coming? Uh, where is the artist? How you figure out who is the artist of today? I don't think it's, uh, uh, it's to go in a museum, and I know a little bit about the institution like a museum. Uh, I'm not sure if you dare have any chance to figure that out. So this is, uh, this is not uh, something to say against an institution. I mean, I have many uh, things to say against many institutions, but uh, uh, it, it, it's still what, what just to trying to understand myself, uh, I think it's, it's the site. The site is something, uh, what, I, what I mentioned, uh, uh, the site of art, I, I have an explicit interest in always, in the manifestation of the here and the now. In art that is capable in creating context, in creating context, externing an influence on social consciousness. And I think especially if you, if you look at the site of an artist, where artists create his own artwork, where he's able to control uh, what he's doing. Uh, the, you can call it the artist side. Uh, there, there is not an exhibition there or a, a media coverage and reception. This is not what counts in my understanding. The real manifestation of art occurs a permanent and irremovable place of art created by the artist. Uh, this is not always, because I really think when, when you have this uh, sight of art, the art places in mind and you uh, have a chance to see them, then uh, there is no other, there is no other, no other institution who is able 
to, I mean, you can transform it, you, you can do a lot of things, but if an artist really can control and he's in good shape, then this is something what we need to understand ourselves. This, this is what uh, I always, uh, always was the interest, uh, very, very strong. Uh, a dedication to new, new art, this is also has to do with curiosity, curiosity, uh, what is going on, on um, progressive contemporary art. Uh, the site of art created by artists, this is the, it is the opposite, the opposite of splendorous and meaningless museums. Uh, it is also, uh, I would say, it is an excursion into the unpracticable. Uh, uh, and what I think the most, uh, most interesting thing is by working with artists, working uh, together with art institutions, or beside that, it is creating spaces that did not exist, exist before. And I think if you, if you make exhibition, uh, if you work with artists, uh, you can do a lot, you can have uh, big names, you can have big artworks, but I, I think to make on-site, to make on-site a project with an artist is the most, uh, most um, interesting, maybe important thing, uh, because it's something which is also for the artist new. It's not that he just is doing what he's able to do, he has to, to move in in another context. And there is a lot to learn as a curator and also for the artist. And I know a lot of artists which have a, have a completely new experience. This doesn't work all the time and it's always a kind of an experiment. And I don't think art without an experiment uh, works and an art institution without doing experiments is not anymore an art, art institution. But this does not work with our society because we are not kind of, oh, I'm sorry, this is, uh, we are not allowed to make too many experiments. And this I spoke with Wolf just before. This is like this mediocrat uh, uh, idea that you, and it's, this has become very strong, but I, I don't want to go in uh, too much uh, here. Uh, I think it's uh, outside is also an imaginary world of the future. Uh, and I just want to, I don't know what we meant. Uh, when, when I say the, sorry, uh, a site is always like uh, this, I only want to show some example. One example is we tried the Ringstraße uh, like when it was a football championship. Uh, the former Stadtrat Schicker uh, tried to uh, bring uh, to, to make for the, for the football fans and for the football player uh, to bring the city in order uh, to have a, something something uh, clean and beautiful. So uh, they, they put uh, in front of the Angewandte and, and in front of the Mark and all the ring the uh, repeated uh, lamps from, from the 19th century, from the end of the 19th century, so in Eisenbus, uh, iron cast, and they put it also in front of, of the mug, and I was very angry. And, I, and it, it really worked in like two months uh, with Ross Lovecraft and uh, heavy Italian industry, they never work, but you can negotiate all the time with them. So they, they made it, this is a rendering, but they made a prototype, and this prototype was here, for, just for a solar, solar tree, for another thing, just to, it was not the idea to have this one-to-one. -one. It, it, it worked, it functioned, but it was only just the idea that not everybody has the same, and I mean, I don't want to go on the Ringstrasse and all this thing, this is absolutely uh, also from, from the intellectual idea is absolutely nonsense because uh, what the Ringstrasse has is all the styles you could imagine. So this, the, 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 the lighting, the lamp has only one style. Uh, it's also not so much uh, senseless. Uh, there is another thing, we, what, what I want to say that it's always, if already you have to run an institution, you have to run outside. Uh, you have to go out and inside and this was also uh, 
if you are in like in a, in a community like Vienna, I think you're responsible. You are also responsible to show your your own interest. And the own interest, it is not a democratic interest, of course not. It's the interest of very few people, and they have the right, they absolutely have the right to show. And then you can make a discussion. But now we have a discussion, so you can't show anything anymore. Nobody can show anything, because uh, first you have to bring people together and to have all this stupid discussion which nowhere goes. So I, I don't want to go to, too much in details. This was only the idea to enlarge the, enlarge the, on one hand, it was not the really idea, but it was one of the idea. It was like you always have to have an argument to do something uh, to enlarge the storage of the library, which is already in, uh, from, from the mark. So we put, uh, we tried uh, also in, in, in context to the new, um, new Wien Mitte commercial uh, enterprises uh, to to put something in for the public in public and this is a, a project with Chris Burden uh, and we enlarged uh, the the bridge so that and under the bridge is hanging the, the depot the, the, the storage for the so this uh, would work and uh, on uh, is it like an axis of of these lamps, which Mr. Schicker likes, but coming from from California, uh, uh, like 180 lamps uh, to have an urban structure, also have a link between two districts which are not so in love, the first and the third. Uh, so this is a kind of enlightening. Uh, the former Stadtrat didn't like it. Uh, then uh, I, what I'm uh, very much uh, uh, it's also, I mean, this is not the, the case on, on, the, on, on one hand, if I speak about sight. So I really spend a, a part of my life here on this side. And I also, to say something to the Angewandte, this is, I could not make my work to make it just in one sentence without, uh, without the institution here. Because I think this is some, it's kind of a balance. It's also kind of uh, 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 having I don't want to call it an university, it doesn't interest me at all, but uh, I don't, I'm not so interested in doctor, artist, but what I think there is, what is very important is uh, the, the research, the theory, and really to go from a completely different point as a museum anytime could do. And this is, I, I was always, uh, and also when there was a conflict or whatever, but I think this is a, it's very healthy. It's very healthy to have these two institutions in a kind of whatever, dialogue or whatever. So the, the idea was, and I, I just be very simple, the idea was also being very long, very long, very, very, very long in an institution to try how to, how to disappear. I mean, I did it now, but in a different way, and, uh, as I, I, I was uh, thinking. And this was also what I understand that all these institutions we have doesn't go anywhere because it's, everything is done, everything is fixed. Architects uh, have to do architecture, those and those and those. So I was more interesting, and this was this kind we called it first UMAC. This was a, a partnership and a dialogue with, with the Angewandte and with the, the, with the director, with the director. And then we called it MAC Plus, but this is not the case. The case is uh, to try to, to really have an institution. And I just I put some sentences here, it's maybe easier, than, otherwise I'm confused and then I confuse you. This I don't want to do. Uh, uh, it is kind of, the idea was a research, a research center for design, arts, and architecture. A new, a new institution responsible for this course at the interface of art, architecture, design, and society, uh, ranging in the multi-layered field of contemporary contemporary position, uh, no, like somebody, and production of art. It is a unique research, in, in the, the idea was to build up a unique research institution that facilitates cross-border projects, addresses crucial, addresses crucial issues of our, our time. And I think this is the most important thing, uh, the crucial issues of our time, to raise to raise the right question. This is all you can do. Uh, it's very hard to give answers and uh, mostly it doesn't make any sense or not so much sense. 
but I think especially the school, an art institution, and every exhibition, every exhibition is, from my understanding, uh, to raise a new question in, 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 in many directions. And uh, this I could believe uh, to have an orientation in a, in a new institution which is, has all these uh, habits uh, we have uh, uh, go, uh, showing out to, uh, and develops today a basis of tomorrow. The institution gives to design what it urgently needs, a laboratory for vision uh, with a wide horizon. So the, the idea was also the institution, you don't need, uh, you don't need the office building. Uh, uh, this was together, it, it, it's a little box on a crane or somewhere, uh, and you are, you are linked and you, you work in a, in a very international network. And I just show this because we made a, a Schaulager. Uh, this was the idea when we go to, the, I don't want to go to all this, but only to show uh, this head office, which was would be on the top of the grain of this new institution. Also, to have the image that you don't, and I'm very sorry, uh, I always want that architects become also in the future very busy uh, and, and uh, have commissions, but uh, you have also institution which you don't need so much architects, but the architects can go in and have uh, are part of the network. This uh, I could understand very much. Um, so, just a, this was the idea to have this Schaulager there, and I, I just want to show. This is like, I don't go now too much in details. The case was, the idea was that you have an institution uh, which is moving by itself. Also, the aim, the issue is a part where the people find when they work, and there has to, you have to be, make sure that they always, it is renewed. This is uh, kind of uh, the idea. Um, I just, uh, which I also have not so in, in uh, didn't have so in mind, uh, because uh, I, what, when I say the site is for me very important, so just by accident, uh, I had an exhibition already in, in the MAC, uh, I was creating an exhibition, I just want uh, uh, I, I didn't remember that so much. Uh, uh, it was 80, 19, 19, it was 18, uh, 1984. I did an exhibition on the, on the Milanese designer Achille Castiglioni. Uh, here, before I, I was uh, a part of the game at, at the museum. Uh, so, this was also before renovation, it was completely other time, but this was one of my first experiments uh, with an institution and I, I, yeah, I don't know. So at this time we put uh, objects in the cage, so it was, uh, I couldn't tell you the reason anymore, but it was like it is. And then I was creating a show uh, for Hans Holland, this was uh, my, also in the, in the Österreichische Museum für Angewandte Kunst, was, now, Mac. Uh, this was 66, uh, and it was the, uh, we call it the first environment show. So, just to show the show. Uh, we don't see anything here, this is on the left, it is uh, Professor Hans Wolle. Uh, when, just, I, I think uh, to, to create a site is not something what, what you you have to put, you're not can only take energy, this is like a good image, and then you say everything is fine. Uh, you have to always to act. And I, I just want to show one example, and this is an uh, example also for a, an artist who, who, is, uh, uh, who is dividing maybe artist because in, in his uh, strangeness, in his uh, absolute uh, uh, language is, but however you you see him, he's a great artist and he did what he thinks he had to do. So it was Donald Chad. He did, as probably some of you know, the uh, 
as I like to call him, a minimalist. He did the Baroque uh, permanent, uh, permanent collection. So what I think, well, what he understands a little bit, space, he, did his, he didn't want to do it, first of all, because he said he, he is the one who said also that uh, museum, any museum kills kills the work of art and he doesn't want to be too much engaged with the museum and he doesn't want to do it. But at this time we, we prepared a show and I had a, I, yeah, we could manage that. And so he, he did this and it was like a link, there's a, it's, it's, a, it's a, a, a room, the Stupski from the Dubsky Palais and then you have the, the ceiling, so he matched this in a, in a certain way. Um, then we had this uh, exhibition, it was the first exhibition on, on, it was called Donald Chart Architecture, and I think it's the, the biggest sculpture he ever did. And then it, uh, we tried to put it in public space, because I always believe on, on things like that. And this, I think it took five or six years to get the permit. Uh, in, they have the most ugly sculpture in the, in the Stadtpark, uh, some of, of interesting composers and musicians, but from very bad artists done. And so I understand this is also kind of conflict and nobody wants to do it. And now it's the problem of the maintenance and, and so that is going from one end to the other. Uh, I just want to put something in public space. Uh, it means also that you erect it or your confrontation so this, uh, if you feel really, if there's a society that's not only going and consuming uh, art, uh, if they really say there's a Donald chat about what this fucking sculpture, I don't like it, then you can go, you can even go on the internet, you can have some information. And I think he is one of the guys, one of the uh, few artists who, who made a huge district for art, for his own art. And I don't make now a, a lecture on, on Donald chat I just want to give a little spot on, on that, and where he uh, bought in, in Marfa, is it, nobody did it know before, in Texas, uh, in land, and uh, a military, military, um, I say, baracken, like 34, and a part of the city, uh, which was at this time uh, kind of bankrupt. And I, I, don't, I, I don't want to comment too much, but uh, still, this is like the sculptures he did, it, it was, it changed in a very little way the existing, the existing buildings. Uh, just put uh, glass here, and there, I don't know, there are 65 sculptures, there are uh, six buildings like that, uh, who he can show his artwork. And for sure, there is no museums director in the world who could accept it, or that we would be fired before he has the idea. Uh, and this is the question, uh, what, uh, I mean, when I speak about art uh, sites, uh, is this, what is the meaning? I, I will just put it in a question, but I, for me it was always a very strong interest. This is, a, I just put this example because it's, uh, he believed that there is no bad architecture, uh, and this was the former central bank, like what is the erste, uh, the erste in, in Austria, was the erste in Marfa. Uh, so, but they don't have the, the head of, is, is a different one. And he put, uh, like a bank, uh, it has a, this cliche, which everybody knows, you have the marble and all this stuff, what you need to make secure the place, or to make secure that you put your money and he put everything out, only this very naive painting of a local artist he left and put some furniture in. And so this is like, this is an exposition and he took uh, a lot of places there. Uh, this I just want, uh, once in a while, you're also interested to do something by yourself and I don't want to go too much. This is a dialogue between a, a very sensational landscape, uh, uh, which I called it uh, Wolf mentioned that I called it the pit and it was, out, it was from a 200 years old wine, winery, wine cellar, it was in wine fields, in a quarry and I think it's a very extraordinary landscape, it's, it's a part of my life. So I did some, this is Stonehenge, has nothing to do so much but you remember if you do things like that and uh, yeah, 
I, I don't want to explain too much. It, I think it's in a, in a it's in a very very not typically Austrian landscape. It's uh, one of the few landscapes which are not so many crests and mountains. Uh, and this, uh, okay, I, I just want to, not too much, much to explain, I just want that this is, for me, something a little bit ingenious and, and uh, let's say, but then when you have, a, there's a quarry and they even made for the cathedral from Santo Stefano, they took until 1920 stones there, it is, uh, they're very soft, uh, kalk uh, stones, uh, it's kind of weird, kalk stones. Sunshine, yeah, it's, it's, you have to be a sculptor to, to, to know. So I, the only, this, uh, the, the only thing I want to, to, to say is that if they took hundreds of years to take out stones from the, from the quarry, once a while, you have to bring, to bring stones back. This, this was the action uh, I did uh, like more than 20 years ago. And, uh, so there was 36 uh, stones, each of them has like three tons, that was, it. was an action. Uh, then uh, the, uh, one of the few buildings is a uh, toilet, I think it's the first thing, if you a landscape, you need a toilet, and that's also I did. The toilet is, I'm, because I'm social open, so it is a two-seater, which is normal, uh, and I invited sometimes friends, my friends. Um, uh, then I did the uh, 37 stones, so this was trying to make make a building or make a house. I think it, in, in a certain way it worked. It was like, uh, the, the people still hate it because they said this is a Bewak Trafo Station, because it doesn't have a window in the front of the sea. Uh, this is the inside, but outside. So, okay. Uh, then. Carlos Kappa, which nobody of you know, the students now, because you know, just now and in these days. So he was a, a, a very interesting, or well, he's still a very interesting uh, Venetian architect. And uh, if you once have the chance, you go to Azuril and visit the Tomba, the Tomba Brion. Uh, so he was there and uh, he was not finished at this time, but so he was delighted. Uh, I want to show on, on one exhibition. Uh, what it means to make, uh, what it really means to, uh, uh, what, to, to make a show. Uh, and this was, when I s uh, say site specific, this was something was you, you could, uh, I couldn't imagine you could it even make more site specific. Uh, Vito Acconci, when the show was finished, he was sitting at the Stadtpark and he really had tears in his eye because he said he never did a work like that. I mean, it was time ago. And uh, because he took all his energy and I took all the money uh, <laughs> the Republic of this country had. So, uh, uh, this, uh, what he did is, was very simple. He did nothing else and architect, I remember they hated it very much. He did nothing else as to repeat it, to repeat that was the existent, that what was there. He repeated the space, he, put, he repeated the central exhibition hall of the MAC, one to one. And if you, to re, this, even architects know, if you repeat it one to one, it doesn't figure in. So he had to shift it. And this he did, but he did it with more solid materials as it was done, because he wanted to have the sensation that you can walk on the roof of the museum, which you, never, which you can't. If, if I would be the director, I would not allow you to walk on, on the sky space, on the roof. So he made the roof in, in more solid glass as the existing roof. So I show you, I, I just because we are in a, in a world of name droppings, you say, I've, I have Archwaga, I, I, I think this doesn't make any, it's absolutely senseless if you're not try to, to go in a relation with an artist. And I think this was, for both of us, a strong uh, relation. It could also, it also could cut my head at this time. I don't know, they didn't do it. Uh, so this was the space. He put inside the it was really built in, in, in 
solid material. There was no paper, not, not like the, the Guggenheim in Bilbao. Uh, we, we had there the, the, from Kapoor, the, 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 the canon. There was a, a, immediately a hole when they were the, shooting it in the corner because it was cardboard and not so much. Uh, so it's not, I mean, it's my, I appreciate uh, the Bilbao pro project very much, but uh, I speak from materials. So I can just... 20 tons of steel for the construction. Zwei Monate Arbeitszeit. Die bestehende Glasdecke ist das Zentrum der Installation. Sie wird im versinkenden und aufsteigenden Zustand nachgebaut. Sie teilt den Zentralraum horizontal in zwei schräge Hälften. Ihre tragenden Stahlbetonstützen ragen auf einem Streifen von zwei Metern über den Zentralraum hinaus in die angrenzende u-förmige Aufstellungshalle. Alles soll für das Publikum begehbar sein. Zwischen dem Gipfel des sinkenden Raumes und dem bestehenden Raum. After two years restoration, renovation of the Seidenhalle, uh, and also I could not, uh, they, they were very carefully the restorators uh, uh, restorated the paintings because we were still from, from the war. So I was always a, a little bit um, scary that it is, becomes a, a new building, it becomes too glittery, too kind of this ugly. Um, okay, they, they did it, and then I, I think it's, it's, it's very important that you once in a while make a clear statement of now, of contemporary, and I, I was very often very lucky, I invited a great artist, uh, Dr. Lene Yetilova, and immediately after the restorators left the building, she moved in. And uh, I, I think it's, this is not a permanent, uh, but I think it's very, it is permanent for the memory. And it works. And I think it's very good also for this institution, 
for the next uh, decades and directors uh, that there happened something from a, what I think, a very, very important artist. Uh, yeah. Uh, another case which has to do to really to go, I mean you can do it on and on. Uh, the problem is that the, the, uh, the Republic uh, becomes uh, uh, running out of money, especially for art, and it's very hard to afford such, uh, such projects. I believe that, uh, I believe and I want to say this on, on this point, uh, that uh, the orientation, if you have an art institution, can't be the public. No, I should not say it too loud, but I always say it as much as I can, because this is not an orientation. You have to, the only one is the artist. You have to serve the artist, you have to find a, a relation with the artist, and then you have to, maybe you can sell it to the public, but you can't, you never, you're not allowed to do that, that you ask the public what they want to what to see, because what, what they see, they want to see what they know. Uh, therefore, you have all these programs all over the world which are completely senseless, have nothing, nothing to do with art. So this was also a Sternstunde. Uh, uh, Anish Kapoor, he made a, a art piece, uh, the Kanone, was called Shooting in the Corner. He made this for this exhibition. It's now in the flag tower, and uh, he, he donated uh, this uh, piece, which has a, a value, because everybody speaks about values, and uh, uh, like 20, uh, 20 million uh, euro. He's one of these artists who has a, is very strong in the art market too, not only as an artist. Um, yeah, uh, okay. Um, let's see. Just give an idea. the artwork for the artist. It's all about Uh, maybe ex uh, everything is explained in a very short video. Um, it was to create next to the Schindler House, uh, one of the Schindler House, the Mark is running uh, to create a, a, a space, uh, like, a, like a garage top, uh, which is not so easy next to Schindler. And this is not a curated show. And but they made it with a show, they opened it. A real operation, the multiple small cells. It's the basic of art, no? <laughs> yeah. First of all, the, the gar garage is, is the, has a little tradition with this city, but it's also the smallest item of the space. They're very strong artists. I think they are, those are they're really uh, remarkable artists, all of them. And they have a big respect to each one, and this uh, this is the only way that it can work. I think it's an open field. It's 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 art or it's architecture. It's design, yeah. And uh, we are all in the same boat, yeah. And and to have a, a discussion in an interesting atmosphere. LA is an interesting meet point. Uh, it's uh, I think we need this all, yeah. This is part of what I think is 
even our convention to keep deconstructing and reshaping what the museum is. So the MAC is not only longer an institution that is related to one building, like the one in Vienna, which is a traditional museum, but it becomes much more like a guerrilla operation, a multiple small cells. <laughs> So this is the, the center of intellectual uh, kind of in, in Venice. And uh, this is the, the building, which you probably know. Uh, this is the title of the exhibit. Um, and here you have all the, like from, uh, <coughs> from Michelangelo, all the, the very young, uh, Young nation, Italy, just uh, this year, 150 years. So you have all these celebrities there, uh, and he is make a crossbreeding chicken, and one chicken is will be born uh, during the Biennale in Venezia. So this is the the project is this uh, very small irritation. Uh, if you if you don't, most of the people can't look anymore. Most of us don't see anything anymore, so probably nobody sees uh, what's going on. Uh, but I can try. I can try. Uh, so you have the chicken, <laughs> which is. Uh, uh, but we let. Uh, you have like Andrea Palladio is there, uh, Dante Alighieri. So uh, uh, all these uh, figures who were so important for this young nation, Italy. Uh, together with a newborn animal. Uh, this is, uh, this is the, the sp this very beautiful uh, library, this is the space, and there will be the interactive working station. They are connected to three universities, and they make by diversity, uh, they make a program uh, during the uh, Biennale. Uh, there's the, the cross-breeding will be in Morano, and there's a live stream is going, the live stream is going to the library. Um, so, uh, I mean, uh, Stephen, what brings you to the chicken? Chickens are the most domesticated animals in the world. And that's very, very interesting, because there is only one chicken in the world that is the regular form that lives in the Himalaya. 
and by human interest, they're making every country a chicken that tells something about the country. For me, it's now interesting to see what we did with this chicken. We blocked the chicken. We make a standard of it and we are thinking that, that we have to keep the standard forever. And that is what I say now against domestication. We have to break the frame that we make around the chicken, so we have to set it free. And that's why I start my cosmopolitan chicken crossbreeding program. So I select in every country a chicken and I start to crossbreed them. By doing this, you tell everything about our society. But do you have any right to put a chicken in a museum? Do we have the right to make a museum? I mean, that's also a space, that's a domesticated place. Yeah. So what I do is question the whole thing. And by putting the chicken into a museum, you already said the question, uh, has the museum the right to exist? How do we shape the boundaries of the museum? Is the museum not a place that we should break open and to go to the world? How you touch art? What, what, what is your mm -hmm. intention? Uh, why you don't keep science naked? Why you keep science as science? Why you want to have this kind of jumping in, into the art? Because I don't think that uh, uh, um, art can exist without the imagination. And art brings imagination. I think science on its own cannot go forward. This is, I'm, I, I don't believe it. I believe that, uh, that if, you, if you make this kind of combination and you give some kind of spirit from both sides, that something new can be born. I always believe in the junction of something. That's why my project is a crossbreeding project. And not only uh, the chicken has to crossbreed, but also the ID and the knowledge has to crossbreed. What was the difference? between a, a scientist who would have this idea for crossbreeding in, mm -hmm. in a different context and what do you do? Oh, uh, I, I think it's a very big difference. First of all, a scientist will never start with this kind of project. He has to keep himself on a protocol. So he has to follow that. He cannot do this. Uh, and the second reason, he, he, is only, he has only an interest in, in the outcome. In, uh, and he's trying to predict the outcome. That means um, that he has a very clear image of what it will be. Me as an artist, I have no clear image of what it will be. The image is the surprise. That is one thing. And the second thing, I, I keep it open because I believe not in manipulating the things. I believe in, uh, in mutation. That's a really big difference. Then you can become the watcher of the things that you are doing. Uh, it's called uh, NATO Venezia, mm -hmm. so this is a kind of uh, beginning, it's mm -hmm. a start. So where, where does it go, where does it end when, when, you, when you take uh, the show at the, at the Art Biennale in, in Venice, NATO Venezia? So I think NATO Venezia is very important uh, because for the first time we go really beyond the chicken. So we will start the discussion as the Open University of Diversity. We will really show the world that there is beyond the chicken uh, um, a lot of ideas, that we have an open study where everybody uh, who has the interest can, can take part of it. And from there on, it goes to different places in the world. Ähm, ich glaube, nur einen Satz dazu, das ist natürlich das, was mein Interesse auch ist, ist sozusagen die, oh, sorry, uh, my, uh, my interest is uh, like how science meet art and he's in many directions an exceptional artist and this we will see, so this, uh, this uh, will take place as I mentioned. There's another exhibition, it's, it's a big struggle, a struggle always in Venice, as, as you know, and also with the, the people are involved, and uh, everything is under, under, in process, under construction, it's, uh, many things are not finalized. Uh, this is the other uh, palazzo, this is the palazzo uh, uh, Cavalli Facchetti, this is next to the next to the Academia Bridge, so it's uh, outside of the, of the Biennale campus, so even people which are not interested in art have the chance to see that.
Um, I, I'm doing a site-specific work with uh, certain artists, and this is, uh, this is the beginning. Uh, these are the artists which are, which are part of, uh, of the show. And uh, to say site-specific, that means, of course, that there's an intervention for Venice, for the, for the city of Venice, for the place itself, for the, for the palazzo, and uh, I think it's, it's, it's far away, but it, it's still not, it is not, uh, not done now because there are many problems, uh, and there are also problems of, of, uh, uh, problems of permits, of permissions from the officials, but not only from the officials. Um, this, yeah, this is like, one is Candle Gears, he's on the, on the left. Uh, uh, Candle Gears is one of, of the artists. Uh, this is an artist I appreciate very much. Uh, he's, uh, the thing is, uh, he's doing from this kind of, I don't want to say this, like LA police has this kind of, uh, they're doing this in class because the, the, the owner, uh, the, the, the the organization who is uh, taking care of the exhibition is the glass industry, so they like to do that. And he, this is the project, this is quite huge, it's like about more than two and a half meters. Uh, it's only not a, a very good uh, image here. Uh, he is using glass and is making two sculptures. Uh, then there is one of, of Sarah Hadid. I mean, what she's doing is a, it's, it's, a, it's an object, an object on like, you know, could, you can use it. It's very, I think it's very complicated. It's now they're working on, on, a, on a maquette, on a model, because the surface is in a, in a not easy way to make. And all this glass, which is done now, all these factories, they make only kitchen production is the worst you know in Venice. So they're not anymore able, not any, anymore able to do that what they have done 200 years ago. So I think this is also makes a lot of sense to provocate with an object like that. Uh, if one of you don't remember Saha, so I just want to <laughs> show you uh, just one second more. Uh, <laughs> um, so this is the object. Then there's a, an interesting project with uh, Erwin, uh, with Erwin Wurm. This is the guy uh, the, who is the this industrial, the, the glass guy, uh, who is taking care of the uh, exhibition space of the palazzo. Uh, Wurm is also doing some objects in, in, uh, together. And the, the real is, uh, let's see what we have. Then we have, uh, there's one uh, video, which maybe you know, he did it last year. This is, it's, uh, the title is Taylor, a young couple driving in their car through, through Vienna and speaking about reality. That's all you can do in Vienna. Um, uh, this is one of the objects. This is the artist himself. Uh, you remember, and this is that would be is a gift, an Austrian gift for Venice. Uh, this is the sculpture of Erwin Wurm, and this is definitive uh, will be there. And uh, I think this is a good first result. It's a good dialogue uh, between a palazzo, which has no meaning anymore because the, you rent it out. Everybody can rent a palazzo. There's not one palazzo who is. There is a family who has power and is running that, so this is an empty, empty case. So the question is, uh, this is, I think it's, it's very interesting also, Venice is a site of, of, of Vienna, and this is also the house, this is uh, this house where uh, Erwin Wurm, he did grow up there, uh, but it's squashed, no, it's squashed on one meter, one meter sixty, uh, and I think, uh, the, the art the society they will like it. Uh, the, the other case is uh, uh, the, the, the project with uh, Magdalena Yetelova. This was just recently to trying to make an advertisement for the, the, the exhibition is called Glass Stress. So we put ourselves under stress to put the wine glass on top of us. Um, the 
the other thing is for sure not serious, all these parties. They are, but this was not, so there was no, no understanding, no, 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 was no, 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 no. Uh, then she, she went further uh, because she understood also if Wurm is there with his house, the palazzo doesn't make any sense anymore. So she wanted uh, to put it to Vienna. Uh, I don't know when she was the last time here, but this was this project, so I, I don't have to be nervous. It, it won't happen. It was <laughs> um, um, So she, she, she tried very long, and it was like for, for many weeks and, and months. We went to the commissions and, and everything. Uh, I don't know, there is something wrong in, in Venice or something that we were. Um, so, is there a variation of that? And finally, which is now, uh, she's working on that now, is, uh, it is, uh, she puts a mirror in, in, in this space, and uh, so she will shift, and the mirror is, is in the move, so the whole, the whole, the, 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 the environment, the space will become another, another direction, uh, uh, Dimension. Uh, this is very hard to uh, to understand, and I want to finish with this <laughs> sentence, uh, with this statement from uh, this will be on the mirror. Mm -hmm. This is like a physical, which I didn't know. Everything moves, but not the writing moves. So maybe this is also something uh, to say. And the guiding principle of my understanding is that that the greatest risk is risk avoidance. So I want to thank you thank you for for being here.